Marcos Alonso has backed Chelsea teammate Romelu Lukaku to win the Premier League Golden Boot this season. Lukaku scored two goals on his return to Stamford Bridge on Saturday against Aston Villa, seven years after leaving West London to join Premier League side Everton. The 28-year-old, who already has three goals in three games this season, has arrived back at Chelsea as one of the best strikers in the world and is hoping to lead the Blues to Premier League glory. Despite the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo at Manchester United, as well as proven goalscorers Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah still being in the Premier League, Alonso believes the Belgian striker has what it takes to win the coveted award this term. He has shown his abilities. He is so strong and he scores goals, Marcos Alonso told Chelsea FC. Of course he is one of the best in his position and it's great to have him with us. It will be a tough fight, for the golden boot, but of course he's got a chance. If the whole team will deliver for him and be together and put in performances like this, he's just going to have to score the goals and we will see at the end of the season. You see all the good teams in the last few teams who have won the league, they've had someone in the top scorers list. That's what we will have with Lukaku this season, I'm sure. Hopefully he will help us achieve bigger things and score as many goals as he can. Romelu Lukaku recommends Alessandro Bastoni and Milan Skriniar to Chelsea. Chelsea wanted to add a new centre-back to Thomas Tuchel's squad this summer and pushed hard to land Jules Koundé from Sevilla. However, the Champions League holders were unable to reach an agreement with Sevilla after the Spanish club raised their asking price in the closing stages of the transfer window. According to sport media set in Italy, Chelsea remain in the market for a new centre-back and are now considering Inter pair Bastoni and Skriniar. The report claims that Chelsea's decision comes following a recommendation from Lukaku, who played with them both at Inter. Bastoni would represent the more inexperienced option for Chelsea as the 22-year-old is only in his third season with Inter. A deal for Bastoni would also be tricky for Chelsea as the Italy international signed a three-year contract extension with Inter in May, which keeps him tied to the club until the summer of 2024. Skriniar, meanwhile, has been linked with a move to the Premier League for several years following his impressive performances for Inter. The 26-year-old will have just a year remaining on his current contract with Inter at the end of the season, which would reduce the asking price for Chelsea if he fails to agree a new deal. Nogolo Kante set to make Chelsea return in time for Tottenham clash. Thomas Tuchel insists he will not take any risks on Nogolo Kante's fitness against Zenit St. Petersburg on Tuesday. The Frenchman hasn't featured for the Blues since a 1-1 draw against Liverpool in late August, where he was removed at half-time with an ankle problem. The midfielder has since resumed training and has participated in the past two sessions ahead of the Blues' Champions League clash against Zenit. However, Tuchel insists Kante is not yet ready to feature and will be given more time to prove his fitness ahead of this weekend's game against rival Spurs. Nogolo had two training sessions yesterday and today but the Champions League game comes a bit too early, said Tuchel. We won't take the risk now in this moment of the season. We decided to give him another load in training then he will have a day off with all of us then he will rejoin team training on Thursday, Friday and Saturday to be absolutely fit and ready for Tottenham. Kante's absence means Saul Niguez could be given another chance to impress in the middle of the park. The Spaniard struggled on his debut during a 3-0 win against Aston Villa on Saturday but he's barely trained with his new teammates since joining from Atletico Madrid. Tuchel is expected to make a number of changes, with Mason Mount, Cesar Aspilicueta and Timo Werner likely to come into the side. Thomas Tuchel sends message to Ben Chilwell over lack of Chelsea playing time. Thomas Tuchel has told Ben Chilwell to be patient, and keep on training, if he wants to get back into the starting lineup at Chelsea this season. Chilwell was a main role in the Chelsea side last season, starting 27 times for the Blues in the Premier League, and was a key player in their Champions League final win against Manchester City. However, since then the 24-year-old has fallen down the pecking order for both club and country, especially when Marcos Alonso taking his place at left wing back at Stamford Bridge. Tuchel believes that the England international needs to stay focused and be patient for his turn to force himself back into the starting lineup. He came from a Champions League win, and from 90 minutes and a strong performance, and had a good end of the season in general, Tuchel said on Tuesday. 
then it was individually for him a tough Euros, because there were chances I think where he thought he could have played, and he did not. It was hard for him to totally relax and to get this personal disappointment, that he would never put out on the team, off his shoulders. And when he arrived here I felt him a bit mentally tired, a bit still worrying about the situation. Marcos was here the whole preseason, he did every single training session and he took this opportunity and was so, so great, with such huge quality and attitude. So Marcos was crucial for us from the first day in training, and then he delivered in Chile's position. And these are our two specialists for the same position, so this is a tough competition for both of them. But he's in the race now, the situation has changed for him. He's in a good mental shape and attitude, and a good shape on the pitch. So he can play any minutes. Because you feel he did everything to push the team, you feel part of the team but you don't feel it really if you don't sweat it out sometimes on the pitch and you never wear the shirt. And if you're never really involved, it is a strange feeling. Then of course it was necessary to keep training and training for five weeks, continuously, and then he had a break, a personal break. We had talks with Chile about the situation. There are no further worries for Chile he has to be patient and keep on training. Thomas Tuchel sends message to Chelsea outcasts Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Malang Sarr and Ross Barkley. Thomas Tuchel has urged Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Malang Sarr and Ross Barkley to be ready for Chelsea and match the high expectations of their teammates. All three players were expected to leave Stamford Bridge before the end of the transfer window but were unable to secure moves away. The trio are yet to make an appearance for Chelsea this season but Tuchel is adamant that they still have a chance of getting minutes on the pitch. Listen, it's very easy, if you get registered, in the squad, it's your duty to be ready, Tuchel said on Monday. When you dress up in this dressing room and you come here to Chelsea every day then it's your duty to be ready, this is the baseline for everything, you need to be ready. You step into this building and you step on the training pitch you have to be ready. You have to be ready once you're on the list, you have to be ready every day to train and every day to play, it's the baseline for everything. Nobody gets a gift here. Malang is in the squad tomorrow, Ruben was is in the squad, he was in the squad against Liverpool, Ross Barkley was in the squad against Aston Villa. We have a tight group, it's a small group, it's a high quality group. They did a first step, for whatever reason they didn't find other clubs or accept other clubs, whatever it is it doesn't matter. Now they deserve to do the next step and be part of this group. Once you're part of this group you have to match the high expectations which we have for ourselves. This is as simple as I said, you have to be ready. When they are in the group they need to do everything to be match ready. I have the feeling that they are otherwise I would have not put them on the list and they would not be on the bench, but they are. They are showing a good mentality. They put the personal situation aside, they live it day by day, this is what we demand and from here no promises are made but anything can happen.